Okay, what is up my beautiful people? We have the Steam Deck here, which has pretty much been the gold standard of handhelds over the past year and so, ever since it launched. There were handheld PCs before the Steam Deck came out and there have been handheld PCs that are still coming out now after the Steam Deck has released. But one thing amongst many other things that sets the Steam Deck apart is the ease of use and the usability, the user experience. One thing that makes it very easy to use, anyone can just pick it up and use it, is the usability, the user interface. It's almost like a game console, sort of like you know, a Nintendo Switch, um, how it presents itself in an easy to understand way, and it gets you straight to your games. Now, Windows does have you know flexibility in terms of compatibility and you can pretty much get any program running on here that you would have running on a windows 11 pc um, so that is one benefit for a windows handout but the steam deck just wins when it comes to usability and that's a very big deal for a lot of people one thing that i have showcased in a previous video is the you know settings menu as far as performance goes steam Deck does have a very good performance a menu you can manage your frame rate you can manage fsr you can manage your um, refresh rate and also your um, gpu and tdp um, clock speed and limit now handhelds like this the ok zoe have implemented a similar menu where you have the option to sort of uh, manage your gpu your clock speed and your tdp and things like that now that's always been a very you know important thing to have it's always been very helpful in, in terms of managing your performance for different games you can raise and lower your tdp and you can do that with the controller so that's very helpful another thing that's an update now is this console like experience that handhelds like the one x player mini pro and one x player 2 in the ok so we have added and that is what they call the one x console so you can press this button to bring up the performance menu but now if you hold this button it's going to bring up this console like experience that is similar to the steam deck when you go to your library similar to the steam deck library where you have your installed games here and now this becomes like your front end for all of your games and it's pretty decent in my opinion all of this art has been added automatically i didn't have to add any of this art myself it scanned my um my storage for games i didn't have to add any games manually so this is a very good step in terms of you know usability you have option to um, create collections so you can have your most recently played games here and then you can have your favorite games you can make um, you know a collection of your favorite games so this is a collection of frequently played games that I created myself by selecting them and you have also your often played games so games that you play often will show up here and this is a very good step because you can be in here and everyone knows that for a Steam Deck to get back into or to get into desktop mode you have to either go to the settings or hold down this um, power button and then that's gonna take you into desktop mode. But with this, now it's even easier to get into desktop mode and to get in out of this because you can just press this button. It's going to close that. And now this will act as, you know, regular Windows device. You can hold this button and it's gonna take you into this, you know, console-like um, experience with a front end. And so if I go to a game now, for example, if I want to add a game to my um, my liked games all I need to do is click on this it brings up game options see if that will focus here it brings up game options and now I can add this to my favorites by clicking this and now it is now added to my favorites list here as you can see that game is now added to my favorites list and this is a very good experience because it does improve the user experience so now not only do you have the performance options here you can control your tdp you can even do an automatic tdp based on frame rate which will pretty much manage the power level based on the demand of the game so if you lock it to 40 fps and you have the automatic tdp it will control your tdp to maintain that um, frame rate so you can control that there and now we have this 
console-like experience, which does increase the usability. So as we look forward to devices like the ROG Ally coming out to have um, Asus ROG Gamer software crate, I can't remember the name, but they have this sort of situation where you can manage all your games, similar to the Steam Deck, and it's awesome to see that um, we're getting these type of user um, interface improvements on the Windows side. And it just goes to show that the Steam Deck is really pushing the industry forward because we're gonna need to see more like this to be able to keep up with the Steam Deck and you know get people excited to pick something up like this because a lot of people don't want to deal with Windows. A lot of people, you know, don't even want to see this. So hold on this button and you're now in a console-like experience. All of your games are good to go. I can launch a game from here and I'm ready to go. So that makes it a lot more user friendly. And I think it's a very good step in the right direction to sort of get closer to the amazing user experience that the Steam Deck offers. So as you can see, I'm in a game right now and I just had to pretty much press that button, then select the game I wanted to get to and I'm in it. I can also still bring up my performance options here so I can manage my TDP. I can manage everything like that. This is also, you know, touch enabled. If I wanted to do it like that, I can adjust my TDP, my GPU frequency, my CPU and my fan and all of that good stuff here. So yeah, it's good to see. Um, we're moving in the right direction and I'm looking forward to what's to come next. Next device you will see on the channel is the ROG Ally. I'm going to versus that versus the Steam Deck. And I also have the um, pro version of this the AOK Zoe A1 Pro that is a 7840U. It's pretty much the same as the processor in the ROG Ally, the Z1 Extreme, but it's just a slightly different, um, but it's pretty much gonna get the same performance. It's just the Z1 Extreme does have some slight tweaks on there for optimization and battery life, but I'm gonna be interested to see how they perform when they come. So stay tuned for the ROG Ally, stay tuned for the uh, AOK Zoe A1 Pro and all of the 7000 series handouts that are coming out to the market soon. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, we're getting very close to the Steam Deck. The Steam Deck will always be the champ as far as user experience goes, but I'm glad to see that these Windows devices are coming close. And yeah, so like, as you can see, I can close the game from here and it's gonna close the game. And now I'm back into the interface here and it's pretty pretty seamless and pretty easy to do so that's always good to see anyway i'm out of here like comment subscribe all that good youtube stuff and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace